Who are you? <laughs> what is his name? Okay. And it's Vivi's birthday today. <laughs> and how old is he again? Nine. Nine. Okay. I'm Jamie, and this is Tucker. Jamie and Tucker. I think he's about fourteen. Okay. And what do you do? What level? Well, um, he's pretty green at it. So okay. We did beginner novice this year, mm -hmm. so we're probably moving up to novice in the spring. Oh, cool. And do you have any issues or anything that you in particular were thinking about work, things that you want to? Like, he, his biggest thing is uh, going over all the jumps. He can be a little not he brave. Can be a little bit spooky, especially at the first one. Oh, okay. Good to know. And? Uh, I'm Lauren, and this is Blake. He's he is actually to be a Western horse. He didn't do anything in his previous life, really. Okay. Uh, his owner was scared of him. So he is, he jumps the moon really well, and he loves to jump, but his flat work is a lot to be desired. So I've had him for about a year, starting from the ground up with him. Okay. And, uh, he's, he's Morgan, -y, so he's, he's half Morgan, so he's very oh. in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, a little spooky, but... He, um, he is more focused in the over fences than he is in the flat work. Okay. And you were Jamie. Yeah. And you were? Lauren. Lauren. Jamie, Vivi, Jamie, Lauren. Okay. Hello, I'm Josh. <laughs> Nikki, 24, 25. You are. <laughs> um, okay. This is Chuck, everybody. <laughs> And Mickey came out of retirement to come to the clinic. Right. I'm Kristen, and this is Silver. He's 11. Uh, also track thoroughbred. Um, we just do jumping right now, but I might do eventually, eventually. We do cross country just like on our own. Okay. And a little bit of dressage here and there. Uh, and the biggest thing I want to work on is he falls in a lot, especially once we really get going jumping. He's just like. He gets here. excited. Okay. So. <laughs> And what is your name again? Kristen. Kristen. Jamie. Lauren. Kristen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen. My trainer's really difficult on me. Um, <laughs> Linda's my trainer. Um, I want to work on uh, balance and straightness and good rhythm. Good. And a good opportunity for him to work in a group. Yeah, absolutely. And with new stuff. Yeah. Because you haven't gotten a lot of, we didn't get to do a lot of show ring stuff t together. Okay, let's take the track to the right, clockwise, at the walk. So Blake looks ready. ready to go. He's ready to go. <laughs> I like that. And you can just space yourselves out. And Chuck, things obviously, as you know, if it's if you need to do a, a revision of what we're doing, do it. Chuck has, a, has had in, an injury, so he can't do everything for as long or always the same position. Okay, and everybody halt. I just want to start making a little correction on you. So your leg is, first of all, oh. dra drives me crazy. <laughs> Tuck it this under. One is <laughs> I would just cut it off. I cut those off. Really? Yeah, I never use them. I don't usually use them either. Okay, but in going back to your leg position, mm -hmm. let's have just, can you put a little bit more weight in your heel? There. Yeah, that's a tough one for me too. <laughs> Do, are you physically, is it hard? Well, I don't have very much bend in my Achilles, but I'm always working on it, trying to get it. Good. Bit okay, so you're yeah. stretching on it. Yeah. So the this idea. Is like the, my max right now. Okay, sometimes you relax this to get that. So a lot of people, I'm, I'm working on getting a, a leg position here and getting her heel down. And a lot of times riders get very tight in their thigh and their knee, and that actually restricts their weight going down in their heel. Okay. So that can help you. Okay, otherwise you look good. Great. Walk on, carry on. 
whoops. <laughs> so we're just walking. I'm going to check your positions as you come by. But as you're walking away, just think about your position. Think about having your horse listening to you. And halt. Jamie, right? Yeah. So there. Okay. You ride a little bit too far back. Okay. Your legs should be underneath you. And the reason is that way you're going to be balanced. So if you think about where your stirrup leather comes down, if you just took your saddle, if, you're, if you weren't in the saddle and the way your stirrup leather hangs, that's the, bi that's the balance of your saddle. That's where okay. you should be. And a lot of, you know, that's, that's not. Yeah. And that's not. But for eventing, especially, you want to be really balanced. You want to be above, yeah. above your leg. Okay? Go ahead. Carry on. Good. And Chuck, you're just going to do a drive-by. But you're going to think about if you can be a little... Yeah. Think about what we worked on, though, that last lesson. Carry that information over to Mickey, okay? So the, with this type of animal, halt, everybody halt, hands. Now, he's got a short neck. Yeah. So it's hard. I ride a horse with a very short neck, too. But you want to keep your hands above and in front of the wither. Okay. It should be about there. Okay. And it's hard because he's got a short neck. But you want to keep... So you're going to have what's called a shorter rein, longer arm. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. There you go. So your arm isn't going to be locked, though still, a, yep, still a softness. Lower leg looks good. And carry on. And then, then you can just make a soft take and give with just uh, squeezing your fingers or softening without moving everything around. Because he is not very consistent in his position. So the more consistent you are, the more consistent he will be. And see if you can get him walking. So you need to stop. Whoa, whoa, don't work too hard. You're, you're thrusting your seat. You're, uh, you're a little tight in your leg there, Jen. Soften your knee. Soften your thigh. There you go. That looks better. And Vivi, just a little bit more walk. Good, leg position looks good. That looks good, good. Just watch it, your reins don't get long. I think they're going to. Okay, so everyone's had a little bit of a position critique. So now we will move into the posting trot. If you need to make a circle, feel free to circle. You don't have to stay in place. Jamie, just think about that lower leg down underneath. And Jamie, you're gonna slow your trot down. Easy. So we're starting out with an easy rhythm so the horses can find their balance and we're not pushing them over their balance. Yeah, so the horses that are a little excited, Jen, you, let him, you need to let him go on a little bit. He needs, he needs to trot on. Jamie's horse can slow down. Vivi's horse needs to go in a rhythm. It's a little bit too slow, actually. It can get in, that's better. Jamie, good. Don't overpower your trot to start with Jamie. Otherwise, you're pushing him on his front end and not letting him find his balance from behind and use his back. Good, you keep, Lauren, correct? Kristen, Tees. Kristen. Weight down in your heels. That's it. And Lauren is on Blake. Okay, good. Keeping that rein length. That looks more consistent already. You need to turn a little sooner, though. You, I feel like you're going to be in the crowd in a minute. So look earlier for your turn. And Jen, you just think about your posting rhythm, staying above that right leg. And now, Vivi, that's a little too fast. So you did what I said, but it's a little bit overdone, okay? Just medium trot, easy trot. Jamie, this is better. I like this. Watch it. Your rein length, Jamie, doesn't get too long. You want to have the same contact on his mouth, but you can do it with having a longer arm and a shorter rein. And that way, yes, 
That'll keep your elbow softer. If your reins get long, your elbows get stuck to your sides, and then you get stiff. And stiff arms mean stiff horse in the mouth. And you just keep working on relaxation. And everyone, downward transition. And I like to say, sit the saddle, downward transition. And allow yourself to sit the saddle. A lot of people like to stand in the stirrups and pull back, but let yourself really sink down. Use your seat and your upper body to help indicate the downward transition as well. And posting trot. And Kristen, every time you're in that up position, think about a little softer knee thigh, letting your weight go down in the heel. That's it. That looks good. Fingers closed on the reins. Chuck, just think about your diagonal. There you go. Good, Jamie. Got to watch the traffic. Watch the lower leg not swinging back too far. Very good. Everybody's settling down now. That's good. Sit the saddle and walk. So be, yeah, be clear and firm about that, Lauren. Good, and sitting trot. Not too fast, Jamie. So just keep your eyes open, Vivi, for Ozzy, because he's a little excited. Very good. Kristen. Vivi looks good. Good, Chuck. You can post if you need to. That looks good, though. Very good. And, Je and everybody back into posting. Sitting trot looks pretty good. And Ozzy, keep, think of allowing the straightness up the long side, allowing the body to be straight. Oftentimes, if you have a horse that's tense, and this would apply to you too, is you, we, we over shorten them and in the end it gets them even more amped up. So sometimes if you look for moments to allow them to move forward and straight, then you will get them to be more relaxed. Very good. Very good, huh? Settling down nicely. Fingers closed on the reins. Watch that you don't have open fingers. And following Jamie. Jamie, you'll change direction across the ring, probably across the center of the ring. Between the two oxers is fine. And then stay to the inside so the person on, can follow you on the out. Yep. Yeah. Excellent riding. Good. Your rein length is much better. I like that. You've got nice soft arms. Leg position looks good. How's that feel? Good. Jen, that's better. He just needs to settle down. And Chuck, let's just think about your rein length a little bit. Good, Jamie. And sit the saddle and walk. Heels down, soften that knee and thigh. Do what you can. He's excited. He's out and about. That looks good, though. Very good, Chuck. And sitting trot. Good. Try to keep their attention as they go past the open door. And a good way to do that is just a little inside leg. Keeping their attention on you, not on what's going on outside. Good, Vivi. Fingers closed. Rain length. Right now, shorten your rain length. Keep your hands up in place, Vivi. 
This is better, Jen. Just keep thinking about the rhythm that you want. Leg position looks excellent. Lauren, you need a little leg on him now, huh? On her, him. Little leg, little leg. Come on, trot on. Oh, Kristen, I mean Kristen. Kristen, of course. Sorry, <laughs> I'm yelling at the wrong person. Lauren, you look fine. <laughs> Good, Jamie. And now you're getting a better quality of trot. That's better. All right, Lauren. Fingers closed. Good. And posting trot. And sit the saddle, walk. And long rein. Settling down. <laughs> Showing off. I think it'll be fine. It's just keep an eye that it doesn't change. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, we're going to start a pattern using a little bit this end of the ring going between the oxers. So you're a group of six, you have to work together at the group. Watch that you're not running up on other horses. I, there's a couple of horses that are a little antsy, so just do your best. We're going to start out just posting trot left circle over the cavaletti that's on the ground. So it's just like a rail on the ground, but now our circle is getting a little bit smaller. And the first thing we're working on is just maintaining your riding position over the rail. Nothing has to change just because we're adding a rail on the ground. So that's discipline for the rider's position and also keeping the horse's attention on you. So as you're working in a group, they can get more distracted or more excited. So again, it's teaching the rider to work with the horse and get their attention in different circumstances, which helps when you go to a horse show or an event, or pleasure riding, whatever you choose to do. So everybody working walk. Is that awkward, that turn? Is it better to stay in? Why don't we do this? Why don't we make the turn this way then? Yeah, I think that's, it'll make it a little smoother, okay? So Vivi, you're gonna come this way. And then we're gonna do the Cavaletti, okay? So, posting trot. So follow, yeah, follow Vivi. Everybody posting trot. Okay, Vivi, you changed your position. Okay, try to keep posting. Lauren. No, Kristen. Why do I keep thinking that? Kristen. Okay, Lauren. Lauren, that was excellent. So you got a good one. Good. Jamie, you let him get a little fast, huh? So keep your trotting rhythm. Good, Jen. Try to work on that. Vivi, keep posting. Upright. Stay upright. Yes. Kristen. Excellent. Chuck. Excellent. Lauren. Excellent. Jamie, slow. Jamie, a little slower. Jamie, you got too much march going on. Just easy. So I want to see that trot where he's really using himself and not just using speed. He uses speed, he cheats a little bit. Good, Vivi, now you're a little slow. Vivi, are you purposely drifting over to the wall? Okay. And 
walk and halt. Okay, now this is going to be a, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the rail, then we're going to come around and trot these, and then go to the outside of the Cavaletti. So you really have to pay attention to what's happening. It may be a disaster. <laughs> it may not be. Watch your spacing. Pay attention. Okay, posting trot. Jen's going to start the... Okay, everybody trot. Trot. Let's do it. Jen's going to start the little loop. Good. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Do what you can. Kristen, that was good. Chuck, good. Good. Easy, Jamie. Easy. These are put really close. <laughs> He's got such a big step. That's okay. This gets you ready for a schooling area. Everybody in a schooling area gets crazy. We're, so we're practicing all aspects of riding here. Good. Excellent. Excellent. You keep going, Jen. You keep going. Excellent, Kristen. Chuck, keep it. Keep it good. Lauren. Good, Lauren. Try not to lean forward like that, that last step. You've got to stay tall. Excellent, Jamie. Last time. So far, so good. And this is good for Ozzy. He's got to learn to work with a company, with other horses. Schooling area is going to be fun. And then continue to the right, Jen, to the right, to the right. All the way around? To the right. Follow Jen. Follow Jen. And Jen just over the single Cavaletti. So now we're just smoothing our pattern out. That was really good, you guys. It just adds a little dimension to a simple exercise. Good, Kristen. Excellent, Kristen. Lauren, tough, tall, upper body. Jamie, not too fast. Excellent. And everybody walk. Good. So that was a good thinking exercise for your horse and your rider. And they, did you feel they, there was a lot of stuff going on, right? Lauren? <laughs> I think Jen had a tough time, but Ozzy doesn't like all these horses coming around, but it, you know, you did a good job. You made him just keep doing the exercise and he's got to pay attention to you and not get so distracted with that type of activity. Okay, what we're going to do is Jen, Kristen, and Chuck will stay out and the other three come on into the center here. We're going to canter three at a time, so this group can have a little break. And the canter circle will be similar. You'll go outside of the Cavaletti, but you can stay down here. So you guys can go up there. Then. And then just uh, Chuck, maybe make a little circle so you won't come right up on Kristen. We're going to canter down here. So now that we're going to, we're preparing for canter, you should just make sure that you've got your horse listening to you. So when I say canter, they'll have a good response. So you're going to check your rein length, Kristen. It's a little long. 
And the reason being, Kristen, is you want to have a rain length for the canter. So that way, a lot of people pick up the canter and then they're scrambling to reorganize. And in those moments of scrambling for reorganization, the horse is getting away with something. You're not really riding the canter or riding the rhythm because you're concentrating on by rain length. So get it ready early so then you're ready. Okay, go ahead and canter. So Kristen, wait for Ozzy. Yes, Kristen, go ahead. Good, Jen. Good, Chuck. So Chuck, you're looking for even canter, as smooth and straight, because he can get a little crooked. Jen, this is good. Keep thinking of that left rein. Good, your rein length, Kristen, is a hair long. Sitting the saddle well. And just watch that he doesn't pull down and get heavy and strong, which he looks like he is. So you can do a little, that's okay. So reorganize your trot, shorten your reins, and then go ahead and slip back into a nice canter. Good, very good. And everybody halt. So let's see if the horses are listening. Not bad, walk. And canter again. Good. Chuck, get that lead. So Lauren, Kristen, I know. Kristen, shorten your reins, raise your hands a hair, and you're going to help this horse's balance. Slow it down a little. One, two, one, two. Slow it down. So what happens is it gets heavy instead of shortening the stride, gets a little heavy and then trots. That's an easier answer for going from fast to slow. Yeah. So you're, not, you're lacking that ability to short. Right now you have a shorter neck. I like this. So see if you can canter and keep this type of frame. That'll help your balance in the canter. And Chuck can walk. Jen can walk. And Kristen can work on a little bit shorter canter. It's not really a collected canner, but it's a little shorter than what you want to be doing. That's it. That's it. You feel that? Yes. That's what you're looking for. And now you don't have such a heavy horse, do you? Yes. And walk. All. Good. And that downward transition, you, you sort of let him go again heavy and then light. Did you feel that? And you can see it. You have a good frame, and then you, you collapse he collapses, and then it comes back. So canter, we're gonna do that one more time so you really understand that. And you can look at your horse, you can see it. So right now is a good frame. His balance is good, canter. Watch that his neck doesn't get long. If it gets long and low, he'll be heavy. Keep your hands up a little. So now watch the pole of your horse. And walk, keep his pole up. Walk, keep his pole. There you go. See the difference? Then his balance stayed good. Okay, next group. Really good. Kristen. <laughs> He's cute. I like him. So just allow him to walk right now. Watch it. Sometimes when you make over corrections, he'll get even more jazzed up. So the idea is use the long side, kind of allow him to be forward and straight like you are. Right now is good. And the anticipation of the canner, sometimes you're preparing, you, you show him a little bit too much. <laughs> so. Lauren, you're going to wait for Vivi to canter before. Don't just ride up on her butt, because, okay? So, canter. Good. Jamie's already paying attention to what Lauren is doing. Good. Now Lauren is ready. Good. Take your time. And Jamie will ride around you. Good, Jamie. 
Good. This nice canner. Good, Vivi. Stretch tall. Vivi, watch what you're doing with your hands. You're doing that thingy. I don't know. How, you're rolling your hands around. Keep that wrist straight and just use your fingers. Jamie, that looks good. Lauren, good. Now you have it organized. It looks comfortable, too. Did he just break, Jamie? Yeah. So slow your trot down. Like, for me, if he breaks, then really get a slower trot, because when they break, they're strung out. So the, the correct, here, break, slow them down, slow them down, short, collected. Now ask your canner. That's, that's the idea. The short canner is hard for him, huh? Yeah. He wants to be a little bit fast and strung out. And that's, that's what I was addressing on the flat work, too, in the trot, is that he uses speed. He doesn't really carry himself. And halt. So the hand, you like to do this, <laughs> I'm hitting myself, this, yeah. this stays straight, that you can do. Okay. So you can change the pressure this way, not that way. Okay. Straight wrist without hitting me. <laughs> okay, now everybody take the track to the left using the whole ring. So Jamie, as we get now going down the long side, really pay attention to your horse's length of body. And if he breaks, you can either walk or go back to more of a collected trot because you're always looking to show him what to do, how to reorganize him. The last thing you want to do is keep him strung out. And by going faster and just pushing him back and just do something different in a in an organized way okay even if you need to come in and halt or do something because he needs to learn how to just carry himself a little slower okay so spread out a little bit and left lead canter take your time we've got a whole long ring Good, Vivi. That was smart. I like how you did it. Lauren, good. Kristen, good. Rain length and think of his pole. Shorten your reins. Jamie, good. Drop your leg down. 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 There you go. There you go. Good, Vivi. But sit. Vivi, you're, you're cheating. Hands up and sit your saddle. And Jen, just do your best to organize and chuck. Chuck, you just got a slow, just rhythm, Chuck. One, two, one, two, one, two, Chuck. Good rhythm. That's it. That's it. And walk. Good watch. Same thing with him, his pole. So in the downward transition, when he, what I call it, rolling over the bit, then he gets heavy, so keep his pole up, and you did the right thing. You, you resisted, and you need to keep leg. Very good. One more time, canter. Chuck, think about your rhythm, and see if you can, hip to shoulder, stretch a little tall. Yes. Kristen, good. Vivi, better, sit. Hands up a hair higher. There. Lauren, this is, I love his canner. He looks comfy. There. Jamie, good. And downward transition. Jamie, keep his pole, put leg on him, carry your hands. Excellent, really good. Downward transition. And long rein. Very good.
Okay, we're gonna do a little jumping now. So would you guys like to shorten your stirrups a hole for jumping? Okay, Lauren, why don't you start, stop at R, and then everybody can get a line behind Lauren. You're going to start us off? Oh boy. oh, boy. You are it. First exercise, we're just going to trot down the Cavaletti line. So your entry into it will be the trot. If they, keep, if they land and canter, keep cantering out. That's fine. But the entry in, have an organized turn at the top. Look for the center and maintain the center all the way through. There's a lot of horses that like to shift left and right. And we as riders need to help the straightness. And the main thing is our eyes, actually, more than anything else. And not overriding with our hands. A little guide with your legs, keep that straightness all the way. And then on the landing of the last Cavaletti, have an organized bottom turn. Put a little bit more foot, ball of your foot. Okay? okay? Are you ready to start us out? Right. Nice and straight. Fingers closed on the reins. Focus on a straight line. Straight line. Straight line, straight line, next, Vivi make sure your reins are short enough and stay tall, hip to shoulder on the takeoff, not bad. Stretch. Very nice. Jamie? Jamie, is he apt to not jump the first one or is this going to be okay? Okay. Shorten your reins. Shorten your reins. He doesn't need to go fast for this. And maintain his quality of gait between. Good. Jen? That got better, Jamie, as he went. He was a little awkward on landing the first one, and you had a little, dis his second part was better than the first. Keep going, Jen, good. Good, and again, your second part was better than the first. Kristen, heels down. Shorten your reins. Hands above a little bit, there you go. Fingers closed. Straight line. Wait for the horse. Wait for the base. Wait. There you go. Good. And Chuck. Rhythm. Rhythm. Shorten your reins. Get ready for it. That's good. That's good. Think about the landing from. Keep going. Keep going.
Good. So again, the second, a lot of you, the second one was better than the first group, the first session, uh, just because you got going. It takes a while to get the organization. So from here, what we're going to do, Lauren, you're going to do the first two, then you'll do the red cross rail, turn right, and then just come straight back up the line. Yep, so you'll start out trotting and then probably continue in the canter. Okay? And each of you should be watching how many strides she's doing and you can see if you like that, if you think you're going to do something different. I think most of these horses will do similar striding. Good. Now start to look at the red. Excellent. Stay in the center of your horse. You are leaning over at the red cross rail. Be very centered. Very centered. That's okay. Centered. Walk forward, walk forward, walk fo hands, hands down, hands down, and push him into the contact. Is that a normal thing for him to do? Yes. And why does he do that? I don't have an answer. <laughs> I, thought I, was going to score. I don't think so. And now I think so too. So if he does that though, kicking like that is is basically a resistance to going forward. Mm -hmm. So, and what you just did is you dropped your reins. You basically took off all pressure. You need to keep a little pressure on and work through that, okay? okay? Now, if you have a little mistake like that, it's not a big deal. You're also trying to figure out, I didn't say, okay, this is exactly this and this is exactly that. You're trying to just figure it out. It's not a big deal, okay? Vivi. Overall, good job except for the lean. You like to lean. We're going to work on that. You've got to stay centered, centered, centered. Hands up a little bit. Don't plant your hands. Use your body. Good, Vivi. Now reorganize the canter after the lead change so you can have a really nice rhythm to come on home. Straight. Very good. So Vivi is a soft rider and she opted to just do some ads and there when the horse was in the wrong canter she softly corrected it. I like how you did it. Very, very good. Jamie, no leaving strides out. Shorten your reins. Look for quality of gait. Nice trot. Soft canter. Jamie, you'll probably do five and four. Excellent. Well done. Very good. He got a little bit strong in the five. That's why I told you to do that. I did not want to see the four there. But that's, that was a good training option. Really, really good. Jen, let's do it. So the idea is having a straightness and a rhythm. He's going to be a little bit green. Straightness and rhythm. Try to stay above your leg. That's all right. So Ozzy was a little green at that, but she did a nice job in pushing him forward to jump it. Good. That's okay. Organize your turn. Very good.
Okay, Kristen, rain lengths to start. I like it. Good. That's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, somebody's off course. Oh, shoot. Keep trotting up the long side. You're so pleased with yourself. So you'll do the first two, remember, and then you'll do the red. That's okay. No, no. You get so focused that sometimes you forget about. Okay, now. You're doing good. You're doing good. Look at the red. Excellent. Straightness. Straightness of your body. Straightness of your body. Straightness of your body. Don't worry about a lead. Wait. No, no, no. The beginning part was very good. The ending, it was just simple. Your reins got too long. That what happened is then you started back here and you're, now you're trying to oversteer. When your reins are the correct length, then you're just guiding. When the reins get too long, then you're pulling and the horse is going this way and this way and that's just all that happened. Okay. That's not a big deal. Not, it's an easy, easy fix, isn't it? Who is next? Let's do it, Chuck. No, that was fine. That's fine. You get excited. Yeah. That's good. It's smooth and rhythmic. Smooth and rhythmic. Smooth. Yes. Very good, Chuck. Okay, you did a little bit the same thing that Kristen did at the right from here. Everything was as good as could be, but here you lost that sense of straightness. You darted over here to come back. Continue that whole thing. Is that everybody? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm falling over it. It's pretty funny. Okay, are there horses that are spooky at Liverpools? Yours is fine. How's yours? You're good. We're Stan. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're doing. So I just added a Liverpool, which is, first of all, it's a small jump, but it's a really nice, I found it's a nice way of introducing Liverpools to horses is you, you stick it under a cavaletti. It's not a big, it's really you're jumping a cavaletti. So for a rider that's nervous about them, first of all it's a little one so it's not a big deal, but for horses too it's really not a big deal. And mentally you can say I'm just jumping a cavaletti. It's not a big deal, okay? So that's why I like that introduction of Liverpools. So what we're going to do is we're doing the little course that we just did, then we're going to add on. So we're going to go right into the outside line. So you're going to do Cavaletti, Liverpool, Crossrail, come back up the three in a row, and then you'll continue right to the outside line. Because it's very small, 
we're going to maintain a six stride distance. It measures for five, but we're going to keep everything nice and uniform and keep it in quiet six. Okay, for you. That's going to be for you. So, Lauren can trot in. Yeah, let's just trot in, just because we know we've got the upcoming event, the Liverpool. Okay, and he'll be fine. Yep. See if you can do the six strides in the outside line and think about your straightness. Big, that's what I'd like to see you do, is maintain a straightness, okay? What happened to staying centered? Forgot about it. We're going to stay centered over this final Cavaletti. Centered, centered. Now make your turn. Look. Centered. Centered. And walk. Leg on him. Leg. And walk. Good. Not bad. You did get seven. It was a nice organized seven, but you know next time to just, you could bump it up a little bit. The only other thing was you did not have a very good trot to start with, and it showed out by falling over the first one. That's all. But the rest was quite good. Vivi. That was great. Eyes. Keep a little leg in the air. Excellent, Vivi. Vivi, that was a nicer lead change as well. It was much smoother, so you trained him the last time and he rewarded you. That's okay. Look, outside leg. Leg. Very nice. Vivi, you just get it. You're so soft that you're a little weak at moments. That's all. At that first vertical coming in, you could have been a hair more leg because that was a little bit of weak jump and then also the breaking there. That's all. The rest was excellent. So that was a very well organized course that she showed us. Jamie. Starting to look now. Whoops. Five and four. Stick to it. Uh-oh. Go around the ring and do the five to the four. And Jamie, that is setting you up then for the six. And you left your strides out going the first time. Which again, for training, that's why we're doing it. It's just so you have the ability to sh lengthen and shorten. Whoa, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Well done. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Your rain length, though, right? Constantly. They're good. Slow. Slower. 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 Slow. There. There. Very good. 
Even that the first downward transition that you, when you half halted him, he popped up behind. Because he's so heavy on front. That's why he's doing that. Because he gets very strong this way. He wants to pull and not push. But that was very good, the training. That part you need to stick to. You had to fix your reins, so after your vertical, you had to fix them real quick. So again, learning to keep your rein length so you don't have to make that little correction. You're fixing your reins as you're trying to shorten them. You did a good job, but that was one more step that you didn't really have to do had you just kept your rein length. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Try to make it as simple for yourself. You already have a lot going on. Yeah. Good. Okay, who's next? As real. Ozzy loves Liverpools. Keep your leg. You're just doing a Cavaletti. Just doing a Cavaletti. Okay, so just halt him there. So here we have a horse that, that is spooky about things. We know that. And what she's going to do is not let him get away from it. So right here she's trying to keep him straight. She's going to form a little chute. Keep your hands close together and lower and just go right over to it, even if you walk it. Trot it, walk it, keep them straight, keep them straight, keep them straight, keep them straight, just keep them straight. Now let him put his nose down, if you will. So now we're trying to ask the horse to address the spook, and he doesn't want to, he doesn't even want to look at it. So now, now he just looked at it, but he got spooked at it. So we need him to actually address it. It's like he doesn't want to establish eye contact with it. Good, good, good. Now he needs to look at it and walk up to it. If you need to tap him, you can. Because he's now, this is a disobedience because now he's refusing to even walk forward a step. There. That was a good correction. Not a lot of effusive padding right now because basically he should just do this. You can talk to him, be encouraging that way. See if he'll go down and look at it. Walk up to it again. Don't get angry. There is no emotion here. You have to be emotionless. If you get angry at your horse, he will feel that. It's not about anger. It's just about determination. Good boy. You're more patient than he is. And there, he's, he's just looking for an escape. He's a little spoiled this way. Hands, and just walk him up to it. There you go. And he's halfway addressed it the way we want him to. Okay, now he might. I think you have a 60-40 chance of doing it. So turn right. And now you'll go up a little ways, come back and trot it. See if you can just trot. Just it. And look at the red. Look at the red. Look at the red. Excellent. So there we addressed this horse. Was, could have been very, very naughty. And we tried to address it in a way to not get anybody upset and to have them easily do what we want. Good boy. Now carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Don't get so excited. Carry on. Go forward a little. Go forward a little. Carry on. Carry on. Good job. Now halt. Now the long rein and the pad and the good boy. Very good. So does everyone, Jamie, do you understand that there? Like he's pretty, ex I don't think, I don't, I've never seen your horse stop at something, but he's probably not quite like that. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, you ready? Kristen. 
Hands, rein length, stay in the center. Keep a little leg on the takeoff. Keep a little leg on the takeoff. Excellent. Good, Jen. Thank you. Stay in the center. Straight, straight. Look, comes up quick. Look, little leg. Excellent. Hey, well done, Kristen. Downward transition. That was really good. Yeah, really good job. Ready? Keep a gentle, gentle leg, gentle leg pressure there. Guide, guide your horse. Guide, shorten your reins a little. Now you're in the groove, Chuck. That's it. Really straight, Chuck. Straight, straight. Look, outside leg. Excellent. So Chuck knows his horse can get a little short strided, so he kept a nice rhythm out of the turn and asked him for a nice bold jump, and that set him up for a very, very good six stride. Good job. That was thinking ahead. Very good. So everyone's done that? Okay. All right. Dan, could you make that red cross rail into a vertical? Do you know what that means? Put them straight across. Okay, next exercise. We are now going to start with the outside line that you've already jumped vertical to the oxer. And we're going to maintain the six, Jamie. Then we'll keep cantering around and we're going to jump the purple oxer. We'll call this the purple oxer. Then we're going to do four strides up to the white gate, the vertical. A couple of you may do five. Lauren may do five. Come around and you'll do the black. After the black, you will continue on a long journey down to the blue vertical. Uh, into the corner. Into the corner. Uh, Turn left. And you will finish on the red jump to the Liverpool to the Cavaletti. Okay. So six strides away, diagonal, four strides to the gate. Four or five for four you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Now, I'll give you some tips. I'll give you some heads up. You know how to do the first line. Everyone's done it. So the next jump coming up could be spooky, could not. Depends on how your horse is. Probably the direct four for most horses. Some can do five. If you do the five, it's fine. This jump comes up fast. So you'll come around this turn, keep your eye on it, and the idea you would jump it a little bit on an angle because naturally you're turning right. That's more of a natural jump. Had you come out here and jumped it very straight and then turn, that's awkward. That wouldn't be as, it wouldn't be as smooth. So this is a smoother ride. 
but when you're jumping it on the angle, it's not that you're letting your horse just fall to the right, you're jumping it across. So the idea is you take off on an angle and you land and you're guiding your horse. You're not just falling right, you're riding your horse to the right. So that'll take a little bit of left rein and a little right leg to just help that along. Then you have a long approach all the way down to the blue. They could get a little distracted and you're riding into the corner. Some horses get a little bit surprised by that. And you have a very tight turn coming up. So the idea would be to ride Jamie to a shorter distance, like the six stride. Do if you launch into a lovely long distance, chances are you'll have a horrible turn. Okay, so <laughs> Jamie, we're gonna, we can't wait to see what she does there off that long approach. Hang on, then we're turning left, yes? Well, it, it is a four stride line. So it depends on your horse's stride. So if you have a little shorter stride, you'll go direct. If you have Jamie's horse, you will put a bend in probably. Then we're gonna finish up on the exercise that you sort of know, but it's in reverse. Now, all of you did four strides here, except for you. Um, but it's, it's really actually a three stride line. So I think after your whole course, this three stride is gonna be realistic, but then what's gonna happen to this four stride? it's gonna be a short four, right. It'll be a short, steady four, okay? So there are technicalities now to riding the course. We've done parts of it, but once you get going, it's learning how to be riding and thinking ahead for the technical aspects of course riding in order to be having a successful course. And it's not just about getting, like we said, getting a number, but it's how to set yourself up for the next part of the course. Okay? You might as well start us off. You've been great so far. Okay, so we need to stand out of the way from the whole thing. So this little area up here or down um, between the red and that, that bottom cross rail is probably good. Between the red and that blue vertical down there, there's some open, open uh, real estate. Yes, yeah, see, we're a little bunched here. You want to uh, go down that way, and that way the auditors, you know, people here can also see a little bit better if we're not all blocking their view. You could stand. Why don't you stand right over here? You could just stand right here. That way you're out of the way, but you're ready for something to fix. Okay, so let's start from here. Stop. What is your plan? Where are you going to pick up your canner? Um, my plan is to pick up the canner by the blue cavalry. Right. Here. I think that's not enough time. Okay. Because if you have problem with your canner, it's not very much room. That's a pretty tight turn. So I would go, go over to that side. You need to move your horse a little bit too. Go through that gap. You should be cantering here. So again, this is another part, important thing is giving yourself enough time and room to have a really great canner to start your course up. Have your canner here, so then you've got the whole top of the ring to, to change it if you need to. And that goes wrong with a lot of people is they pick up their canner too close to the first jump. Straight, centered. Centered, you're still off the right shoulder. Keep going with leg. And I said that's a leg problem and sure enough he stops moving forward. So you lost your quality of canner. So when you land and get into a turn, keep leg. Okay, walk, walk. So he made a mistake there. That's not a big deal, but yeah. you, you could have kept going. Yeah. You lost your concentration. Try not to get disturbed by a mistake that's already gone, done. It's over. 
keep going, right? You're still on. But you know what I am going to do? I'm going to give you a ground line. So this horse had trouble judging the jump because it's a square oxer with a false ground line. So I'm going to add the ground line, a real ground line, to help him judge it better. Again, we're not trying to trap the horses. We're trying to make them better horses, better jumpers. That rail had a little bow in it, so I flipped it so it wasn't curved up. And we'll see how Lauren handles this. Just ride up to it. Keep your focus on the next one. OK, walk. Walk. So what happened? Why I pulled you up because that was a very backward ride. You jumped this beautiful, right? So see how much better he judged it. We gave him a ground line. He jumped it fabulous. You had yourself all set up for five, and you just, for some reason, hung on his mouth and, and got nervous about it. No nervous. Come on. Be bold. Let's do it. Let's do that again. Five strides, and then carry on with your course, OK? Carry on. leg. Carry on. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Leg and jump the black jump. Leg, leg, leg. Black jump. Leg, leg, leg. Carry on. Go on down that blue jump. Leg. What happened to you over that last Cavaletti? I thought, I thought we were going to fall off. We were leaning so far to the right. Let's go, go down. We'll finish up this last part of the line, the red. Make the three happen. He did the three. You did not. And then you're going to do the four, and you're going to stay centered. You're not going to lean over that inside shoulder. You're going to be centered, centered, centered. That was very good, though. Come on, be bold. Come on. Centered. Look left. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. I'm just ahead of you. <laughs> canner, canner, canner. Keep your fanny in the saddle. Put leg on them and sitting trot. Right. Sitting trot. Leg. There you go. And walk. Long rain. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> Very good. He's a good jumper. <laughs> of course you can. All right, Vivi is giving herself a long warm-up. She is ready. I like it. Six. Be a little strong. Come on. Strong into the line. And walk. So Vivi did the right thing. She gave her herself enough time and room, but she didn't recognize that it wasn't a very good canter. Right, Vivi? First jump was very weak. What I liked what she did is she recognized she had a weak first jump, and she moved up, and she did do a nice second jump. But let's make the first jump better. Come on. 
Come on, get a little bit more than you need, and then you can downshift if you need to. There you go. Good. Now be strong at the black plank in case he spooks. Keep your rein length and just push him into that. Come on. Good. Just rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Push. Push. Good. Very good. Much better. Jamie. He was cute over that one. He got a little spooky, but listened very nicely to you. You did a nice job with that. Good, so Jamie's getting herself organized, thinking about the perfect canner for the six. Right, ooh, he's already jumping, jumps backwards, I see that. So you have to be careful, he gets his eye on the jump. Easy. Good. Look, look at the black. Ride the line away from it. Excellent distance, excellent. Good, Jamie. Balance, balance, balance. Good, Jamie. Good. The one suggestion I would have is when you go to balance him, you tend to do one hand before the other. For me, I would land stronger both hands because what you're looking for is to have him come this way, the balance this way. And sometimes you do this and he gets shifty. He, he shortens up, but he, he doesn't always just really come back and do that. And that's a little bit your technique. You get one hand, one hand, one hand. You got it done in the six, but it wasn't as balanced in the middle as it could have, you know what I mean? You made the six happen, but you didn't land, get him back, and have him hold that canner in the six stride line. So let's just do the six stride line one more time with that in mind. Okay. What kind of bit is that in his mouth? It's a slow foot. Okay. So think about it now, like do a half halt using both hands, stretch tall, both hands, and keep your hands a little bit above the wither. A little higher than you like to. That's it. So you're going to land both hand balance. Both hand. There you go. And look at that. Did we just do seven? But do you feel that? Yeah, but, but you're actually, you're much stronger because he really listened and what you didn't, you have a good feeling, so you didn't even realize what you were doing, but when he balanced, you had the balance, he started to move and you right away pushed him back straight with your leg and he just, he stayed there. 
He didn't drag you any further. And the drag is what starts to get in your way. You're used to the drag. But there he just, he was happily to do eight strides if you ask him to do. He really came back that time. So let's use that technique from now on, okay? Really good. Jen, you feel comfortable with the socks, sir? Okay. So Jen is going to get a good canter to start with. Now go faster. So right now that's not really a good canter to jump from. That's it. I'll let him go a little. Put a leg. Let him go. Let him go a little. That's it. It's okay, it's okay. So same idea. He's kind of doing the same thing. So we're just going to address it the same way. He needs to come up to it. We're going to make it very remedial. Walk him up. Walk him up. Hands closer together. You don't need to get wide hands for the, ah, you got to keep the straightness. He's not allowed to back up and stand there. Whoa, 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 stand. We have to be patient riders, patient partners. Even though you want to be a little angry, don't be. No emotion. See if you can walk them one more step. Come on, straightness. Good, good correction. There you go. Now turn left and then come behind me and just trot around and I would probably trot the jump. I think you're probably going to be most successful. And now you just kind of squeeze them. Just squeeze them right over it. And keep your eyes to the next one. Because this should not be a main event. This is just part of it. He's got another jump to follow. Another jump to follow. Do you have a stick? Crop him behind your leg. You don't need to back him up. Stand. Okay, turn left. Oh, turn right. And this time come behind me because you came at a funny angle. Come a little bit behind me so you're really straight. And get on over it. Get on over it and go to the vertical. Go to the vertical. Black jump. Be positive at it. Left rein, right leg. Good job. Keep going. Good. Allow him to go a little bit now. Let him use a little bit of his stride here. Keep going. Good boy. Go ahead, Dan. Your turn. Good. And then you're going to keep going and you're going to canter up over this purple thingy again. Let him go here. Come on. Now's the time to put a little leg on him. There you go. Good, Dan. Thank you. Come on. Good. Good, Dan. This jump could go back up. Good, Jen. Good. A nice canter to finish. I like that. Who's next? You're welcome.
Good, Kristen. So she's getting herself, she's setting herself up for success. She's got a little movement because she's been standing around. She's going to put her leg on, get a really solid canter before she enters the line. Rain length, so you can guide your horse better. Rain length, excellent. Rain length, look, eyes. Excellent. Excellent, good. <laughs> She's in the jump off. Balance. Good job. Organize. You're a, a hair quick to finish though, right? You landed, the horse was cutting in, it was in a cross canter. That would have been a better time for training rather than the, oh, good boy. Good girl, good boy. Boy. But finish that and then pat. Really good. Really good. He gets excited eventually. No, but I like it. I like it, I like it. Chuck. All right, Chuck is getting himself a good start and you're thinking about the rain length and the straightness. He likes to go left. I know you don't have much left leg, but I will help you. I'll stand here, stay inside of me. That's okay, that was nicely done. Don't run me over, go around me. There. That was really smooth. Have a little left rein. There you go, guide, guide, guide. Good. Stretch up. Excellent. Very good, Chuck. Very good. That was good. By me standing there, it helped you a little bit and then helped you put the arc in because I know he falls left, but it gives you that real smooth ride that you sometimes lack. That's all. Yep, other side can go up. And then you could raise that jump up one hole, just the top rail. No, he can do more. Do more. Okay, we're gonna now do something a little bit different, similar. <laughs> we're gonna start over the black plank, off the left lead. So from here, we're gonna do black plank, and then we're gonna do the outside line. in six and then we are going to make this turn here that's why we're doing the six jamie so we can make the inside turn we're going to do the six we're going to do the purple jump
All right, then we're going to make an inside turn. This will be challenging. Team, this will be challenging. Inside turn to the red. And then we're doing a bending line to the blue. So it becomes quite technical because now we're asking our horses to get to certain distances to enable to be able to do the next thing. We're doing the six to set up for the turn. So the distance at the purple should not be wild and bold, otherwise we will never make it. Right, Jamie? So then this is the hard thing, is now we've made the inside turn and we're already angled into this. Do you see how difficult that is? We don't want to do this as a straight line. Now we want to ride a bend. So we have to land and actually create a bend because naturally they're going to want to go straight. Yes? Yeah, yeah, I want, I want inside of the plank. Yeah, I really do. I want to see it happen. <laughs> yes. So, okay. So let's let's talk technical. We're going to we're not going to jump this jump on an angle, right? And we are now going to jump it pretty straight. Do you see this? Do you see how the 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 change in approach can help you or hurt you? So the idea is, watch this. If you come straight, you're going to be here. Do you see that? And now, do you see the inside turn? If you jump it on an angle, you're going to miss it. So it takes, you have to be disciplined as riders. And we started this in the beginning with our straightness and making you do specific numbers here and there to again be a little bit disciplined. All right? Yes? As we approach here. You'll go around the red inside of the Cavaletti, which is a nice approach. But if you, if you are impatient, if you just look and come, you're going to be on the angle. You've got to ride out a little bit and be straight. Lauren, are you up for the task to demonstrate this beauty? Yeah, probably probably a five to the blue. Is that that's the final time? Halt on a straight line. Oh, okay. Yep. You're trying to Dan, you need to move. Is there anything I can do to sort of decide pushing in more to stop the bus movement? You've gotta you've gotta just keep him going. Okay. He's he needs to get going. You could, actually he needs to accept your seat and you need to keep leg on him. Okay. okay? The more you can do that, the better it will get. Okay, you ready? You're good there. They're starting over the black. Remember, we're starting over the black and then doing the six. I know. Trying not to duck, trying to stay centered. She forgot the inside turn. Okay, next. Who's next? Vivi, show us how to do it. Chuck, oh, Chuck, Dan, can you go get me that block that next to the muck bucket? Just stand right there quietly.
So you got a little excited about making the turn. Just canter around, jump it. Look, I've even put a thingy here now. And just canter around it. Ready? Go ahead, just this one. This one and then finish. So you pick up right lead, canter outside of the green, around the red. Don't get crazy on me. Show us how to do it. Be a little bold. Hands together. Look who's getting it done. Birthday girl. Bending. Not bad, not bad. So the bending five, she went a little wide. Did you see that? If you had stayed a little inside track, it would have been best. Next. And Jamie, you'll finish us, uh, Jamie, not um, Lauren, you'll finish us up. So don't overcomplicate the turn here. It becomes very uh, mental. Excellent. You're going to land, use both hands. Both hands. Both hands, both hands, excellent. And just softly, softly allow the five. Straight line. Straight, straight, straight. You were supposed to halt on a straight line. Oh. So, Jamie, just you're going to canter the red. Let uh, wait till Dan fixes it. Do the do the blue because he had it down, and then you can just halt on the straight line. Very good, really good. Both hands. Be soft. Jamie, Jamie, wait to the end. I I'd like you to do that again so he doesn't end on a, on a knockdown, but let's, we'll let somebody else go. Who's next? Stay with it, Jen. Stay with it. Stay focused. Get aggressive. Look, look, look. Halt, halt, halt. Next rider. My team is mentally falling apart. <laughs> I know, I know. But that's also, it's such a big part of riding is if you have such a block about getting my horse over the jump or oh I'm gonna forget the course chances are you're gonna forget the course yep and that's why I'm um, we're carrying on we're carrying on we're not gonna good Kristen's gonna do it don't rush don't rush don't rush. Look, look. Smooth as you can. Smooth as you can. And the halt. I think she gets a clap. That was excellent. Nice job. Next. 
That was really nice. All right, Chuck, shorten your rein so you can stay up over them. Excellent. Allow the stride through the turn to help you get the six. Look for the turn. Smooth. Look. Now smooth, smooth. Try not to hustle. Halt on the straight line. Clap, that was a great round. All right, now we have the redos. All right, do over. Okay, let's go. And Jamie, no, no ducking. Centered over this first jump, even though you're going to the right, be centered, 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 centered. Excellent, finally. He's getting tired, help him down the line. Go on. Get your turn. Look, make it happen, you can do it. Ride it, ride the rhythm, smooth, smooth, and allow the five. Halt on the straight line. Good, nice job. Okay, who's next? Yes. And Jamie, I want you to finish up too, so you, he doesn't have that rail down. You ended up doing six in the five stride line that one time, the one time, and you have a little bit more control, huh? Go on. Look. Active, active, active. So coming around the turn, you need to stay upright and help them. You lean a little bit, and then what, what's happening here, this is kind of a good, you're, turn, you're turning a little bit, and then he keeps turning. So when you get to this point, you need to straight. There's no, no longer the turn, now you have to ride him straight out of the turn. You're forgetting that part, and he's a little spooky at this jump. So just make that, come around the red, and just be a little bit straighter and ride a straight line. As you pass me, you should be now on a straight horse, not a bending horse. That's gonna be left rein, right leg. Left rein, right leg. Halt, ah, see, because he wants to go right. So stop, 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 stop. Stop him right in front of it. Now you're gonna give him one whack. Now halt. We're just gonna make it easy once. and go left, because he's trying to go right. Oh, I didn't do that right. Okay, you ready? Do it. So sometimes they, at the end, they give us these little problems, they get a little tired. Left rein, right leg, make it happen. And finish, keep going. Good, now Vivi, let's canter this jump one more time. The purple. He's, he is, he's spooky at this. So we're gonna keep it low so he has a nice, comfortable feeling about it. But be a little bit bolder even this time. Active here, a little active. Excellent. That time he was bolder than you. Okay, and halt.
Good. That was nice. And she left strides out that time. Jamie, is it you? Yeah. Now, why don't we just do it again? It's good practice for you. It's hard for you to do this. Bucky? Oh, I can't wait. And halt. And halt. Hit. Okay, so as he's got, he was a little dull, right? So just do that again. So again, training, because he hung around, he kind of thinks he's done, he's tired, but he needs to listen to your leg. And he's still a little slow even after you use it. Much better. Good riding, good riding. Remember, both hands on the half halt. Excellent. Look, both hands and a little leg support. Boat look, outside rain and keep a rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, is that the finale? No, Jen. Jen. Unless I'm do you want to go again? Let's do it. Yeah, because you were off course. I forgot about that. Jen forgot the course of all people. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think I've said anything bad yet. Come on, a little positive. Come on. That was good riding. Come on. Look. Make it happen, make it happen. Stay on it, stay on it. You stay on it. Even if you trot it, even if you trot, trot it, trot it. Look. That's it. Now finish it up. Red to blue in the hall. Woo! All right, gang, why don't we come on over here? You want to put that back up? All right, so we covered a lot of different things, and it was, this was a really fun group because we could do a lot of fun, difficult, challenging exercises. Jamie, why don't you just talk about what you learned or what you got from this? Well, I need to keep him a little bit slower and a little more together in general. Uh-huh. And I need to do both hands for a half all day. Do you feel that? It makes yeah, such it's, a... It's a huge difference. Yeah, it's really good. Good job. I have to be more patient than my horse. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Heels down, fingers together, and keep him kind of more collected but still moving forward and his head up. Good. Letting him hold it properly. Yeah. He gets a little bit out of shape and then he doesn't carry himself and then he's lazy. But when he's up and going, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah. Really good. Thank you. Excellent. And I uh, learned to not jump over the fence trying to get a lead. Okay. Fantastic. Good for you. Vivi. Good for you. Yeah. You're such a you are a good rider and you're a pretty rider, but sometimes you're not as effective as you could be. You're too soft. You can just you need to sometimes be a little stronger in that good position. Good. Very good, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Right, get your pictures. Linda, outside. Okay, pictures. Sorry. <gasps>